He wanted to make a name for himself. So he did what everybody said. He moved to Los Angeles to try to make a name for himself with his talent because he was a talented fella. But when he got there, nobody got him. Nobody understood his music. Nobody understood where he was coming from because he moved from Northern Florida, which was very countryish at the time to California, which was very hip. People just didn't get him. He sank in despair, in depression, to the point where he was going to kill himself and felt that way for several days. And then he wrote this. Just one morning, I had to wake up with the blues, pulled myself out of bed, put on my walking shoes, went up on the mountain to see what I could see. The whole world was falling right down in front of me. Because I'm hung up on dreams I'll never see. Help me, baby, or this will surely be the end of me. But that wasn't the end. The song ends like this. Pulled myself together. Put on a new face. Climb down off the hilltop. Get back in the race. So he moves to Georgia and his brother Dwayne joins him. They form a band. They have all kinds of funky names. They can't come up with anything, so they just call themselves the Almond Brothers Band. Record executives were somewhat interested in them. Their music was long. It was jamming. Songs went on forever. And one record executive said, you need to move to New York or Los Angeles to kind of acclimate yourself to the industry. Greg Allman told them to go F themselves. We're going to do it the way we want to do it. That's exactly how band members recalled the situation. They went on to record their first album called The Allman Brothers. And the rest was history. But think about that. He's in L.A. He's in deep depression. He wants to take his life. And it's escalating. It's getting worse and worse and worse. And one day he has a wake-up call. Maybe he had a bad experience. Maybe he did too many drugs or drank too much. Or he woke up in an alley. Or something happened where he wakes up and says... Pulled myself together, put on a new face, climb down off the hilltop, Los Angeles, and get back in the race. He came to a point, a decision, and he went uphill from there. Only uphill. There's a lot of people who haven't, as they say in Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous, you haven't reached your bottom. I agree with that part of that ideology that everybody needs a wake-up call, a come-to-Jesus moment. They need to reach their bottom, where you can't go any lower, where the next move... I'm not talking about mental illness, and I'm not even talking about being in jail. I'm talking about the next move down is the grave. Some people are wired in such a way where being that close to death is the only thing that moves them. Are you in that place in your life? Have you Are you wired in the way that threats and when death throws down the gauntlet and says, if you don't straighten up, I'll be waiting here for you. And the grim reaper shows up at your door. And you know what? And then you get some strength, don't you? You pull yourself together and you give the Grim Reaper the one finger salute and you're not gonna let it happen and you start moving and you write your first book you give your first speech you get a haircut you get a beard trim you get yourself together you come down off of the mountain of depression or the valley of depression you come out of it you want to pull everything together. You cut off the dead wood. And you move forward in your life. It's very similar to my story. Only until 
the only move was the grave when I was that far from it. Only then did I start thinking more seriously and feeling like I actually am empowered and have the ability to do something in my life. Prior to that, I just felt like life was happening to me and I wasn't controlling anything. And it was the result of just one bad decision after another that I couldn't even see. Many others saw it, but they had no power to help me. And condemning people never help. When someone says, I told you so, that doesn't help you. You have to pull yourself up. And the resources are out there, and never in history has there been as many resources for someone to get sober, to get straight, to get their act together, to succeed, to become successful, to become prosperous, and become a different person. As Tony Robbins says, and there's some things that he says that I really like. The past does not equal the future. I had someone tell me once that the past is the best indication of the future. I absolutely reject that. And I will give that person the one finger salute. The past does not equal the future. There are more than enough people out there who've been at the bottom who've made horrible choices. It's never too late to start making good choices. And it begins now. You might stop this video and make a great choice to move forward. If I'm the one who just sparks it and you move on to other videos to gather more data, more hope, more information, because hope and information come from the strangest places. life starts getting brighter. You're up when the sun comes up. You stop using less substances. You raise your voice less often. You're not as easily thrown off the handle. You're not out of control anymore. You plan your day. You have goals. You plan your week. You plan your month. You plan the quarter and the half year and a year ahead of time. And your dreams are at the top of the stairs, and every step is just a little goal that gets you closer to your dreams. Clearly define them, not only with time, but with money. And you're gonna go places. You're gonna get yourself out. I guarantee it. You can do it. I know you can, because I believe in you. Now go out and do it. Mm.